Hi and welcome back to the next lesson. In this lesson we are going to build these symbols here. So these are symbols that will either be a red circle with a cross in it, if what we see is, is not what we'd, we'd want. We've got different rules for different, um, different risk statuses. Or we will put a tick if it is what we want. So we need to create some validation rules and we need to create these symbols and the measure to create these symbols. So here we are and we've got this table here and this is just to help us help keep us right and help keep us focused on what the rules are. So for text number one, the formatting rules are going to be read if regardless of how many work orders there are, if they are, are if the status is red, orange or yellow, if it's green, there's going to be no formatting here. So probably won't be a tick, we'll probably just leave it blank. Okay, so we'll create that one to begin with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of new measures. Um, we're going to create a measure for each of the symbols. So we'll call this one text symbol uh, bud, for want of a better word. Right, and that text is going to be the cross, the little cross with the um, the circle in the middle of it. Okay, so I've just done a search for. Um, for Unicode circle with cross and here is one here and all you do with this is just copy it. The point in trying to be fancy, you, there is a, a function where you can then put these numbers here but if you copy that and let's minimize this and then we'll just enclose that in some brackets and that will be our symbol for bad performance and then we're going to go and create another one and get um, a tick. So I've just got the same website here. Um, I call it a tick, but it looks like you need to call it a check, a check mark. And then you can go and choose whichever one you think is um, is relevant. We'll just go with this light check mark. We'll click on here and again, we can just copy it straight from here. Paste that in there. And that is our symbols for good and Bad measures. Oh, hold on, something right here. Ah, forgot the equal sign. There we go. Getting ahead of myself. So now we're going to start by creating some code that's going to calculate the symbol and put it in a wee box next to here. Okay, so let's get a new measure. And I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see what's happening. I'm going to paste it in here. So text overall the status uh, text part one symbol. So a little bit of a mouthy kind of description here. We might go back and change these later on, but we'll leave it for that for just now. Um, we've got overall status. First of all, we're going to capture that as available so we can capture the current overall status. And we are going to then go and create a, a, bit, of, a bit of logic here. P pretty simple logic. So if the overall status is equal to green low, then we've put text symbol good. Now, why is that not being recognized? Let's just double check here. Text symbol good. Ah, okay, we've got a little bit of a an issue there where we've got just that extra extra piece at the back, an extra dash at the back. So we can go and sort that out. Otherwise, text symbol bad. So remember, if it's red, orange or yellow, we want it to be the, 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 the actual cross. Otherwise, it's green and we want it to be that tick which um, means we can, the logic can be the opposite basically. We can check first, we can check if it's green. If it's not green, then we'll put it as being a, um, put, it, put it as being red. So let's just go and put that in place. I'm gonna just make it slightly bigger so that I can sort out this here. Uh, text, where are we? Text symbol. Yeah, it's this one here. I need to sort out. Just get rid of this little bit at the back here, and then I'm going to add a card in next to here. So we'll create a little bit of space for ourselves here. Um, I'll just move these along a little bit, 
and the text symbol is going to go in as a card. So let's go and add a card. And we'll put in the text symbol. So this is the other way you can do it. Now, this, add text using a card. Now, the, the only limitation with this, or our limitation with this, is you can't get this highlight stuff in here. And you need to make up all of the text in a measure. But we are going to use it later on, so we'll just leave that for just now. And I'll, I'll talk you through this in more, in more detail later on, how you can construct longer sentences in a card using a measure. So let's go across here, and we're just going to tidy this up a little bit. And remind us of the size of this here, which was 18. I'll make that 18 to start off with. 45 is far too big. 18. Let's see how that looks. 18. Could probably make it a little bit bigger than 18, maybe 20. And then we'll just make this a little bit neater so it fits in beside it. And then we'll just center that there. Okay, so that is the high risk. Now let's just go and play with that. And I'm going to just change it so that we can see how it looks with a tick beside it. So let's go to the text symbol. And rather than, sorry, a tick, rather than a, a tick, we can put, let's make this bad. In fact, actually, let's make this good. So we can see how it's going to look if it's green. Okay, so that's a tick there. Okay. But I do think that it would probably just be best to leave it blank for this first one. Because uh, it's not really a good thing to have any defects. So we put in that blank symbol and it will be blank if, um, yeah, it's how it will look as if it's blank. So I think what we're going to do is we'll put in the blank symbol here. And we'll put in the good stay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so here we have it. If the overall risk status is green, then leave it blank. So we've got no form, nothing here. We'll just be blank. Otherwise, put in the the symbol for bad, which is this this X here. Okay, so I think that's us done for the first one. In the next video, we will go and look at this second one. I'll talk to you then.